Okay, so now that you've got your blank piece of paper out, we are now going to start defining, designing, and building your own unique story that's going to differentiate you from everyone else in there. And as we mentioned, your story needs to be better told. So this part, this exercise is going to be very important. So we've got our piece of paper out and I'm going to draw a table and I'm going to divide my table into three. And I'm also going to create a section for the heading on the top of my table. Now, in this table, we are going to fill in three different sections. The very first section, this is going to be what's called our origin, right? So let me put this. I want to put this in a different color. So I'm going to go here with red. This is going to be my origin. And origin, obviously, straightforward. This is the beginning of your story. How did your entrepreneurial journey start? How did the business start, right? Why did you choose a particular pathway versus another? What was the original goals, objectives, and dreams that you had for the business and for yourself? Have your dreams, wishes, and goals been fulfilled? So what's most important here is to fill this up with the utmost honesty. Recognize if at any time you strayed from your original goals, your pathway, and accept what you've done well and where you've gone wrong. In doing this exercise, you will discover what are the values that's deep within your business and that motivates all the effort beyond your desire to earn money. In this area, you also want to keep in mind that the history of the project, of your business, um, is closely re related to your personal history, but they're not the same. The certain things in your personal history will have an impact on your leadership as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, and others won't. So that's important to note in that first section. In the middle column, I'm going to make this blue. This is what we are going to uh, fill in the year and now, right? Year and now. So this is... The current situation, reflecting on the current situation of where your business is right at this moment in time. You want to ask yourself certain questions. Is today connected with yesterday? So is my current where I am now linked to my yesterday, my, my past, my origin story? Um, is the current course that I'm on the one that we had originally designed and the strategy that we have? Or have we deviated? Have we moved off that and we changed strategy? So if there was a change, why? Why did we make a change? What was the need that drove the change? In this middle section, you want to analyze if the values, the targets, the goals and objectives that you created at the beginning have been maintained over the course of your business. And if it hasn't, well, what was the reason? Was it because that it just became diluted and mixed into your everyday routine? So that's the year and now. And then finally, in the last column, you want to put what is called your promised land. This is now you looking into the future, asking yourself certain questions of where do I want to take this business? What are the goals, objectives, and targets that I want to fulfill? How does the dreams of today connect with the dreams that was not fulfilled in my origin story? And how do I make that a dream of the future? So I want you to visualize the next two, three, five, and 10 years and clearly paint a picture of the business that you would like to create and all of the people also that you will invite on this pathway and journey for you, getting you to this promised land. It could be your customers. It could be your suppliers. It could be other business stakeholders and partners. It could be also your family. Who is going to go with you on this pathway? And what is the clear reason for this goal? You have to 
you know, be able to really articulate to these people what the dream is and why they should go with you on this journey to promised land. So when you filled in these three columns in full, right, let it rest for a few days. Let it simmer and think over it. Come back here and there if you need to make tweaks until you feel you're very satisfied with what this outcome is. And then once you've got your origin story, your year and your now and where you're headed, you can then distill that down and write that now into a nice detailed story where you've come from, where you are and where you're headed. <music>